There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. Just one question. What if you miss? I won't. Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Now today I've got the Master Chief vs Arbiter 2 pack. Uh, wait, wait, wait a second no. Something looks a bit wrong here. That is definitely not the Arbiter. Sorry Craig, you may be the key to my heart, but you are no Arbiter. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So today, I mean, I started with this because when I first came to Hong Kong, I did the review of the Brute Warrior versus Master Chief Halo Infinite pack, and I can't believe it's been so long since then. And now we've got the one that started it all, this Master Chief versus Arbiter pack, where basically Mega Constructs just nailed every single aspect of a set. There's always something that you can complain about in a set. Like, don't lie to me. Even your favorite sets, you can find just a little thing that you could want differently, because everybody's different. But this, I just challenge you to find something wrong with this set. Possibly you could say the Arbiter needs a bit more paintwork, but even then, when you look at the price, it's like $10 and you get these two authentic Halo 2 figures and then a bunch of weapons, including some of my favorite painted weapons I've ever seen, two epic base plates. I mean, I'm doing the review before I even open this thing. Also, shout out to this hardcore glare. That is the stuff of nightmares, so I gotta, oh, I gotta sort of hold it up the whole time. But yeah, on the back, it's basic black and white packaging. People started complaining that they shifted to black and white. I don't mind, save the planet, save some ink. It's completely fine by me. We've got Halo Heroes Series 11. Straight after Series 10, it was a pretty good set. They definitely gave Series 10 a run for their money, and then it went on to Halo Infinite Halo Heroes. All right. We will tear this open, and this one is one of those sets. I've been notorious in the past of just having things fly off in every direction. I, I get too excited, all right, but this one I'll be careful. Yes, there we go. Back in England, uh, when we were on UK lockdown, it was probably back in March now, I got hold of this set thanks to the amazing Miseria Armory. I got hold of the old one, but I just opened it straight away. So I wanted to get another, open it on camera, and then I'm actually sending a couple of these figures off to one of my Patreons. Remember guys, you can always check out my Patreon. We got a bunch of really cool perks, and we're gonna start game nights really soon. Very exciting time to be alive. Look at this Master Chief, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hey, Halo 2. I mean, you know, Halo 2, it's not my game. I was definitely Halo 3 onwards. I never really played the original Halo 2 that much. I owned the game, but I, I never really gave it a chance. I mean, I had Halo 3, so it was like, I'll, I'll just play this. But Halo 2 Anniversary, I've actually just been doing a legendary run with my friend from China, and we did the entire run, and then realized that he, for some reason, just did not get any of the achievements. Apparently this is a pretty regular thing, so we're gonna do the whole thing again. Just Halo 2 Legendary once again. Those jackal snipers can, uh, oh, they can bite me. They're not, <laughs> they are not fun. Immediately you can see the gaps between Chief's uh, shoulders and the rest of his armor. They actually come off quite loosely. It's not the worst thing in the world. And his helmet is a slightly different colored plastic, as we've discussed before. But these are all such minor issues. Look at that beautiful weathering effect. This is actually, uh, this is a lot nicer than my original Chief that I got. The first Halo 2 anniversary Chief I got in this pack was just so battle damaged, like, like, just way too much. Uh, looked like he'd been just ran over by a lawnmower, but this one is a little more subtle So I like that just some nice easy weathering. Oh such a beautiful figure. You can hear Halo 2 You just you, you can hear Halo 2 there Master Chief defend this station. Yes, sir. I need a weapon right this way Master Chief you mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. So yeah, that metallic green as well. I mean, I'm just such a fan of the metallic green. I know some people like their sort of more subtle colors. I love it, like bright, bold. The glossy finish just means like light shines off him in every direction. 
I think it's fantastic. I really want to compare this next to the SDCC set. Yes, guys, I do not own the SDCC Chief yet. It will be some time, but I will get it one day. And then we can also compare this to the Halo Infinite Chief right there. See, you can, yeah, okay. The glossiness, I, I do prefer. The Halo Infinite Chief, you can see some like more very gentle scratch marks on his chest, but I really like this one. This one doesn't have the 117 logo on its chest, but it is fantastic. And I also, I'm a big fan of these bulky shoulders. Then we've got the Covenant's Bane himself, the Arbiter, just one of the greatest stories in all of Halo. Uh, well, the great, one of the greatest stories ever told in video games, if you ask me, like the Arbiter's redemption, his fight back against the Covenant, and then just his ongoing war against the remaining Covenant into Halo 5. It was pretty much the thing that invested me the most about Halo 5, even more than the Guardians, I guess, was the inner Covenant struggle. I love all that sort of internal politics. Like, how do you just wipe out a religion when there's still, like, noble followers? Followers everywhere. So very interesting. I love this Arbiter. People have said that it's a bit dull, you know, there's not highlights through the armor like we have with other figures, especially the Reaper Marami figure from Halo Heroes. But this one, you know, it's just plain silver. It still works really well. I love the very dark purple undersuit and the dark brown exposed neck and face. The armor just slots on so gently. It's a really snug fit. The design itself is flawless. I mean, they've just captured every essence of the armor. Arbiter and also just like shown off yet again the level of detail on their molding like they can just get these eccentric little lines just something that Lego is just like a million miles away from like Lego can never achieve figures of this high quality so bravo Mega Bloks. I will continue my campaign against the humans You know where we are. The mausoleum of the Arbiter. Quite so. Even on my knees, I do not belong in their presence. Figures aside, I mean, we've got all of these crazy cool weapons. And if you guys were wondering, yes, there was meant to be a reveal video for some new Halo sets today. It got delayed, you know, I was communicating with Mega Bloks. It's all just an ongoing process, but they're being really cool, really supportive. So I'll get that video update out to you soon. Aside from these two base plates, which are really cool. I mean, they've got very different effects to them. This is like some kind of ink, like running down, sort of weirdly blended in greens. And then this is more like a speckled silver on the purple base plate. They both work really well. And then these weapons, I mean, my goodness. This Halo 2 carbine is one of my favorite weapons Mega Bloks has ever made. I love that blue little accent running through the weapon. And then this energy sword as well, the way they've used the white to crackle electricity through it. I'm coming off the high at the minute of building that big energy sword. You should check out that video. And they use some really cool new blue effects, but this one is also amazing. More painted weapons here, like non-stop painted weapons weapons. We've got these dual wield SMGs, which you basically know are like the key promotional material for Halo 2. So they're definitely perfect to be included in this set. And then also the battle rifle, they match perfectly with these silver highlights. There's like four paint applications on this tiny little weapon. It's amazing. Then two basic plasma grenades, two grenades. Look at all that. $10. I would pay $10. You remember back in the day when McFarlane toys, they used to sell only weapons sets, like little packs where you could just buy the Halo McFarlane weapons for your figures. And I would buy like a weapons pack of just these for $10. But we also get these two epic figures, the Master Chief. I'll definitely give him his dual wield SMGs and a battle rifle on his back. It's funny that they removed the assault rifle for Halo 2. What a strange decision. I guess they really wanted to emphasize the dual wielding. And then for the Arbiter, we've got Carbine and the Plasma Pistol. He's gonna pop some shields and then pop some heads, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and then we got the grenades separate. It would be cool like McFarlane if you could eventually clip grenades onto the legs of the figures. I mean, you can do it with Call of Duty essentially. So that would be a really cool feature in the future. And we'll pop the Master Chief on his display the Arbiter on his. And if you screenshot this image right now, you can label it badass. 
<laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but this is just so cool. Such an insane callback. Total nostalgia to Halo 2. Not only do you get two figures, a bunch of weapons, two nice base plates. This thing just screams value for money. I mean, the Brute Warrior, you know, it, it's only a Brute Warrior because we don't really have named figures yet. So you can't really compare it to the Arbiter, though maybe it has a couple more paint applications. But this Master Chief, I would take this shiny, glossy green over this plain green any day. These are two epic figures. Thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. This was another video with The Domain. You all stay awesome out there. You all stay safe. And the Master Chief is... Oh, <laughs> he, like, shot that straight out of his hand. That, that just that went flying. The Master Chief is signing off. Shoo, 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 shoo.